The officiating minister, Redeem Christian Church of God, RCCG, City of David Sanctuary, Pastor Ido Iluyo Madi has employed every living souls to always get prepared for the day of judgment. Pastor Iluyo Made made the remarks and Lagos at a special services of sense for late I Chief Raymond Alongo Dokwesi, who died at the age of 71. Our correspondent Abiola Ismail completes the report. <laughs> Christian Church of God, RCCG, City of David Sanctuary, Lagos, was not only filled to the brim, but witnessed the presence of gurus in the Nigerian media industry, politicians and captains of industry, and well-wishers who came to pay their last respect to the pioneer of private broadcast media in Nigeria, the late I Chief Raymond Alejo Dokwesi. The demise of I Chief Raymond Dokwesi came to many as a great loss not only to the media industry, but to the maritime, politics, communication, and other sectors. Raymond Dokwesi, a Pan-African and source of inspiration to many, most especially the younger generation of leaders and entrepreneurs in Nigeria and across the globe. Describing Raymond Dokwesi as a visionary, business mogul, and great philanthropist, the officiating minister, RCCG, City of Lagos, Pastor Idowu Iluyo Made said, every individual should work towards making a good mark in life. Pastor Iluyo Made encouraged the family not to mourn forever, but to pick up their pieces and work towards making heaven. Live a purposeful life, discover your life purpose, and make sure that you make heaven. Make an impact in this life, but have a heaven-bound focus. Well, that's the end of man. God bless you. Leading the tribute was the chairman of China's television, John Momo, who described late Raymond Tokwesi as a trailblazer, a mentor, and one who touched the lives of many. Raymond was a source of inspiration and motivation to aspiring entrepreneurs all over the world. His story is a testament to the power of perseverance, of grit, and a steadfast belief in one's dream. Others who spoke at the event described Dr. C as a man of many parts. He stood for humanity. He fought for justice. He believed in humanity. He was a visionary, bold, courageous, Audacious, a pathfinder. I am still at the shop. Time to rest, and I think he's lived a full life. He must. He's lived a fulfilled life. Um, for many of us, we're going to miss him. Um, and all we can say is to wish him peace, perfect peace. What I like about Dr. C's life really is I didn't shy away from doing those things he thought he couldn't, maybe couldn't do, but then he put himself forward to do it. So for you, for everyone, I don't want to say only the press. I'm a lawyer, I'm an advocate, I advocate for women. All of us collectively are strong enough to take our country back or take it to the pinnacle it deserves to be. He was a father, he was a brother, he was a friend to everybody and um, he'll be sorely missed because as busy as he was, he knew everybody and he knew everything concerning everybody. You know, sometimes when you think he doesn't remember, he just he sends somebody to you that he remembers you. Christmas time, birthdays, he remembers. The, the way we feel right now is like the roof of our house has been taken by the wind and we are exposed to the elements and you know when when the wind blows up the roof during rainy season and you don't have a replacement you are going to be exposed to the elements that's how we feel now there's a big loss uh, we, we 
person, a father, a leader, the one that led us uh, into an uncharted territory and made us to conquer that territory. It is good to be good. Because when you are nice, all you are doing is that you are writing your own history. So much has been said and heard about Dr. Wood, uh, Dr. Percy. He was just an incredible personality. Extremely intelligent, brilliant, relentless, and committed individual. Such as should be citizens of a great country like Nigeria. Alima Dr. Percy said her father was more than a father, but a counselor, advisor, confidant, and a best friend. I'll miss the source of motivation and the source of encouragement. He was a source of encouragement to all of us, his children, and always motivating us. A bit of tough love because he wouldn't tolerate anything mediocre. He wanted excellence from us. So because I knew that I had someone watching over me, I knew that I always had to do my very best all the time. So I'll miss that. And I'll miss my friend that I used to gist with and my dance partner. The service of song around the burial arrangement which continued in Abuja and rounded up in Agenabodi, Edo State, where the final burial rite will be performed. It was a convergence of captain of industry, media gurus, and friends of dark communication who came to pay their last respect for the death of High Chief Aloy Dopesi, who died at the age of 71. Here in Lagos, Abiola Ismail, MITV News.